Texas. It'll kick it away for Skip Holtz and the Bulldogs. And away we go from Shreveport. And this will be Osborne at the seven. And a high kick. And K.J. Osborne will get to about the 23-yard line. And that's where we'll get a look at an offense, Roddy, that was under 400 yards of ball game. In fact, 11th in the ACC and 90th overall was Miami at the end of regular season play. Yeah. Williams from the pocket. And the ball got batted away on a pass intended for Harley. Jackson, the outside linebacker who had a pick six against UT San Antonio in their regular season finale. Well, they go with man-to-man -man of this offense. A bear, the tight end in motion. Here is Smith on first down, the throw and the catch. And stepping away is Malik Stanley down the far sideline for the Bulldogs near the Miami 32. And he's off to the races. Big play to start for Louisiana Tech. An excited partisan Bulldog crowd and a sack now of Smith. It's coming back around. It looked like is that Scott Patchen? It was. The are counted on by Jamar Smith. Griffin Abair, 28 catches. And there's a ball popped loose after Smith was sacked. But he's going to be sacked on the play, and that's Rousseau getting to the quarterback for the first time today. In that box formation. Bulldogs bringing some heat for Williams. He'll flip it for Mallory, threw it just behind him incomplete. Or what Louisiana Tech does in, in pass protection. Here's Smith moving the pocket, wants to throw back across, and incomplete. Play. I'm letting that go. <laughs> Here's Henderson breaking through that first level, and then Al Blades upends him at the 33. Against Greg Rousseau, these are two guys that could be playing on Sundays. Here's Smith, he's going to keep it, and he will fight through and get the first down to the 44. And they're going to swing it here, and this is Tucker. He'll turn the corner and pick up the first down. Territory, once they cross the 50-yard line in a bowl game, you always have to be worried about a little bit of trickery if you're a defensive coordinator. And try to get it to Henderson. He bounces off the first guy, and now down to the Miami 25 goes Justin Henderson. Another strong run. Back in the ball game as a running back. That's Harris in motion. Here's Smith wanting to throw. Rousseau got to him, but he cut it loose, and wide open is Tucker for the touchdown. 26 yards. Jamar Smith to the running back Israel Tucker. Getting a big win in the bowl game last year propelled them to this season. Williams on third down and Osborne the catch could not complete it though and the ball got jarred loose on the hit by Roberson. We welcome you back to Shreveport and apparently the speculation and the reports of bowl practice are true Roddy Jones because here comes Tate Martell out of Bishop Gorman in Las Vegas to play quarterback for Manny Diaz. Four for Miami. Martell will throw, and Osborne flags it down at the 22 on a great catch. Third and 13. Blitz coming. Martell tries to scramble around. Got some help. And he'll be sacked this time. Ezekiel Barnett navigates the entire width of the field to take down Tate Martell for the Bulldogs in this first half. Well, I don't think you can say enough about the coverage by this Louisiana Tech secondary, but you see up the middle, it was Ezekiel Barnett who then retraced, gets out there with Tate Martell and is able to bring him down. In a punt, here's Headley to drive it toward Harris from the 31. Harris working to the perimeter. Midfield and into plus territory goes Smoke Harris for the Bulldogs. And Smith going to throw and overthrows. Yes, got they do. Two of them left. Nine seconds left. Here's Williams up in the pocket. The catch is Osborne out to the 49. Timeout with two. They will only rush three here. Williams. Now has to run with it. Half has expired on the clock. Cameron Harris. And then Williams put it in play. And Miami, I think, is going to fall on it to end the half. Saturday afternoon and Saturday night. Out of the timeout for Miami. Smith threw it behind the intended receiver, Stanley. Here's third and eight now for Williams. Bulldogs bringing pressure. Williams trying to get to Mallory. Cannot. Head. Three and outs in four of their last five drives. And there's the catch, Hebert. 
Griffin A. Bear knocked back, but shy of a 40 and a first down for the Bulldogs. Smith up the middle. Third down. Smith slings it to the far side and caught in traffic. Isaiah Graham pulls it down at the midfield line. Bought in, and everybody in Independent Stadium is bought in. Here's a reverse. Toussaint going back to the far side. Keeps his feet. 35 out of bounds, Miami 34-yard line for Wayne Tucson. Nine. And here's Smith looking to throw again. Up in the pocket, and they got him around the shoe tops. And it looked like Rousseau again, who's been a problem for Louisiana Tech. And Rousseau is shaking up on the play. Back And Gregory Rousseau at 6-6 has all of those things. Tucker's come back into the ball game with Smith. Here's Smith going to try and keep it, and Miami's not letting him go anywhere. Likely the final play of the third. Williams wants to cut it loose. And overthrown and intercepted. Trey Baldwin comes up with the pitch. Intercepted. And working his way back upfield, Gilbert Frierson. And Frierson at the 30 and down to the 28-yard line. That ball got juggled around and then it looked like Couch picked it up. He, by Frierson to be able to pick this ball off on the screen, he makes Jamar Smith, breaks that tackle, then cuts back. Louisiana Tech and Miami has been given unbelievable field position for an offense that has struggled all day. And here is Nikosi Perry, the third Miami quarterback of the day. Bulldogs show pressure. Perry cuts it loose, near side. Ball caught, first down, Mark Pope. Third and 14. Perry dances again, throws, and hardly the catch, but out of bounds. I would not have blamed him for going on it the way his defense is playing. Mike Harley clearly out of bounds on that catch. Oh, foul. Big play here, third down. Smith going to throw, and incomplete. Three receivers and a tight end for another first and ten crack. Perry tries to spin it and it's picked. And that is Aaron Roberson. Printing it out, putting it on the wall for motivation. That's Harris in motion. Here is Smith handing to Harris. Around the perimeter, Smoke Harris will go out of bounds inside the 40 at the 37. The touchdown to Tucker is the only score in this ball game until now. Jamar Smith will slide down at the five. Yep. It's a team that was 8-1 with an opportunity to go to the Conference USA Championship game. They suspend Adrian Hardy, Jamar Smith, who gets in the end zone here, and they lose those games, but able to cap it off. So Smith does score in his final collegiate game. <laughs> Here's Perry on what likely is the final play of the game. Nikosi going to sail it for the end zone in the corner. And it's broken up incomplete. The ball game is over. Skip Holtz gets the shower. Louisiana Tech wins their 10th. We've got our first shutout in the history of the walk-ons Independence Bowl, and it's done by the Bulldogs from Ruston.